welcome to learn instrumentation engineering in this youtube channel we are learning a lot of uh, basic concepts of instrumentation and automation and that includes process measurement devices process uh, measurement applications uh, and the control system techniques and latest updates and improvement in technologies in and around uh, global in industrial automations so if you are an instrumentation student or a budding engineer or even an expertise in the field of instrumentation you should subscribe to our channel to gain more knowledge and i am very sure i create more value addition to you today we are going to discuss about what is basically solenoid valve and what are different components of solenoid valve and how it works uh, and what different types of solenoid valves are available in this industrial automations so let's get into this video come on so what is basically a solenoid wall so already we have discussed what is a control wall what are different types of a control wall and how it controls the total the uh, process flow basically solenoid valve is also similar to a control wall the only difference is here the solenoid wall either opens or closes and it doesn't throttles it doesn't throttle any process flow into the system it either allows the process flow into the system or it uh, shuts off the process flow it going into the system so what are different types of solenoid valves and how solenoid valve works is explained now so what you see is this uh, solenoid wall which is in the left top of the image and uh, there are two uh, basic components over here one is the solenoid wall head and other is the body so in the solenoid wall body you have the coil and uh, the electrical systems whereas in the body you have the plunger spring arrangement right and there are other two pictures you could see the solenoid wall along with the wall body so how does a solenoid wall works so this is basically a solenoid wall and we have a, a pressurized system in the upstream of solenoid wall and in the downstream you could see there is no much pressure and uh, there is a plunger arrangement in the middle which is the vertically position and above the plunger we have a spring arrangement and uh, between the plunger you could see the yellow color that is uh, nothing but the uh, coil right and the coil is associated with an electrical power system so when the switch closes the power supply energize the coil and this coil lifts the spring towards upwards that spring uh, pushes or it lifts the plunger arrangement it is similar to a plug and seat arrangement so the pressurized air from the upstream or the inlet port gets into the downstream or the outlet port and finally pressurizing the downstream application so this is what uh, a direct acting solenoid valve uh, works and at the same time if i am de-energizing the power supply immediately the coil get de-energized and the plunger uh, and the spring moves back to its original position thus allowing the process fluid or the process medium to get shut so you could see over here the upstream is still pressurized whereas downstream uh, get uh, depressurized so this is how a solenoid works when the coil energizes and de-energizes it does uh, lift this uh, plunger arrangement and when it de-energizes it releases the plunger arrangement back to its original position it is very very simple as a basic arrangement and now you could see all the different types of a solenoid valve we have different types like we have two-way solenoid valve in which we have uh, two ports a inlet port and b is the outlet port so when the solenoid valve gets energized a equal to b it means that the inlet and outlet ports get connected and when the solenoid coil de-energizes A is not equal to B so the both the inlet and outlet port gets disconnected so this is how a two-way solenoid valve works and we have a two ports and we also have a, 
uh, direct acting and reverse acting solenoid that wall and uh, it is basically the same it works vice versa right similar to uh, the two-way solenoid wall we do have three-way solenoid wall in which we have three ports inlet port outlet port and the third is the exhaust port that you could see over here the c is exhaust order or vent port so when the coil gets energized the inlet and outlet port gets connected that's a equal to b and when the coil get de-energized the outlet ports connect with the exhaust port or the vent port that's a c port so this is the basically the important difference between the two-way and the three-way solenoid walls so when the process medium the air or gas or any hydraulic system which uh, goes into the uh, outlet port and when the coil de-energizes the process medium uh, vent or exhaust to uh, from outlet port to the exhaust port this is how a three-way solenoid wall works and again we have four-way and five-way solenoid walls so the thing is that number of posts increases uh, the wall type increases so in the four-way uh, solenoid wall we have only one common exhaust port whereas in five-way solenoid port we have two independent exhaust ports so these uh, uh, solenoids will be uh, used in different applications as per the process demand so this is how a solenoid wall works and different types of a solenoid walls and i think you just got a very good understanding and idea of a solenoid wall and if this video is very useful to you just hit the like button and uh, share to instrument community and if you want to watch such instrumentation and control system videos do subscribe to our channel learn instrumentation engineering thank you